You know, Reggie it's Rock. Not as beautiful, quiet, and isolated as this one. Hmm. You have to wonder, where does everybody poop? Hello, everyone. I am Third Mario Brother. Welcome back to that Pokemon. That was the last Everybody. thing I need to think of. You to Pacific Log Town and explore the place. Ooh, a lumberry. Guy here in this house that he heard stories as a kid. <laughs> you, if you use dye around here, you find a lot of nuggets. Ice and steel hidden here in the Hoenn region. And no, it is not worth the high price. It's a rare nuggets that's worth crap. Going to be going after those Pokemon because I have a dream of finding whatever legends these might be. I believe the stories I was told as a child, and I believe that they are out there. Child, you were told them five minutes ago. I guess you're ten, so. Off screen, I did a little bit of work. Like I said, you can find a whale lord on Route 129, and on Route 129, off screen, I did just that. So, our party has changed up a little bit. Oh, so hi! We have our returning Here comes here. the Crimson we Chin! The Chin! The whale lord, the Crimson Chin himself. Well, he's not very blue. Anthony, you're going to need both of these guys. I like how you named him after the. Uh... Is because I gave uh, her. I always forget the gender, man. Like you get, but I gave her the. Dig, um... and you're going to need a digging Pokemon as well, and a diving Pokemon. The giraffe of Toys R Us. And you we lost Jacques your, and uh, your very own Ashley. Be able to get along just fine. And I don't right. know. And I think there was bacon here too. On route 132, and you have to come to the uh, west of Pacific Log Town and move. I mean, Ashley was already to gone to make way for Blue. That we're trying to get to, but oh my God, what a jerk move, game! Dump us off right You're in front welcome. of the fisherman. He's like, hey, look, I really caught a big one this time. Want to lose? You never know until you try. More fun. Well, I don't want to try. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. Ten oh, stars. He's not one of those trainers that has like ten magic carbs. Oh god, he's, oh, god. he's he is one of those trainers that has like fifty magic carbs. Oh my god, you are the worst, man. You know what I hate? And oh, what level nineteen? Taking on in this video is quite a cryptic one. So make sure you have that relicant. Make sure you have that whale lord, and make sure you have a digging. Oh, Gyarados! Right. Immediately. You're going to be hurting. It's, it's the five ga five magic carp and a Gyarados. That's pretty much absolutely impossible and i have no idea how i did it how i had the patience or yeah i, I probably just followed a guide or something and that, that's <laughs> actually definitely the case because when i was a kid i had this really crappy prima strategy guide that told you nothing very useful about the game it never taught me enough about how to catch a feebass it never taught me enough about how to get the reggies without pulling my hair out but maybe that was just because i was young and dumb which is a very very i don't know there's such thing as bad way. guides wrong wait does he have one magic carp and five gyarados uh, magic carp i was gonna say feebass there but no he doesn't have wait they're just slowly going up in levels two by two powerful ones and uh like our attack what's funny is that in gen 7 so they have a guy with five magic carps and a gyarados yeah, a which would have been funny well, if you went magic carp magic carp magic carp magic carp magic carp gyarados but they ruined the joke immediately because the trainers are programmed to send out the pokemon with the highest level afterwards which obviously gyarados which means it's magic carp gyarados magic carp magic carp magic carp magic carp killing the joke i felt really really important when i finally did it because i was the only one in my entire school who knew how to do this by reading a strategy guide they could have programmed I didn't so that didn't happen, but I was no. just, oh, I have that would take a the, uh, legendary Pokemon that you get by doing that ridiculous side quest. And no, I'm not going to change Pokemon. Get out of here, dude. I'm tired of your Gyarados. God, I know they're cool. I know they're giant snake things. In the Everybody room. likes Gyarados. I don't want to have to deal with just about. Whiskers. I can't handle it right now. It's Whiskers, on, the Wonder Cat. Let me go. Throw me a bone. Don't throw me a bone. <laughs> he bites the bone. Would damage me a little bit. And I don't want my heretic to get damaged, but... <laughs> Hey, oh my don't God. hurt the heretics. Like, always these fights that are like really annoying in Pokemon games, though. And, oh boy, another Gyarados is coming out. May as well throw out Swallow. Why not? I'll change it up a little bit or something like that. Even though we started with Swallow uh, Ship, you know, now I'm really regret not sending out Jacques and then again we're practically sure one hit KO them anyway. I sank in the fight. Yeah, Ronald, you did. You should. And be you only gave us fourteen hundred dollars. Gyarados, man. Or Pokey. EV train or a euro. I don't know. Or pounds. Who cares? For my heretic, like a champ. Although. I don't even know if I got the, uh, what am I trying to say here? I, I don't know if I got the Intimidate drop the first time. Heretic oh, Heretic died! Like, oh, Heretic ended up dying to a Twister, which is a terrible, terrible, terrible dragon-type move that nobody should know ever, but it happened. <laughs> but it, so I hate it when that happens. You die to the worst move ever. Him. Anyway, let's go ahead and surf on our dishwater, and there are a bunch of rapids on this route that you have to, um... Not really. And it's a one way trip unless you have fly, but I don't think Brian because, went to Pacific Log Town. If you oh, wait, no, he had to have because not really step if he wanted to go into the PC, he'd have to. You're not going to have a very good time yeah, because you can't Pokemon change Center. your direction once you touch these things. And that's what, another one of the things that makes this side quest so terribly, terribly annoying. No, I went the wrong way. Oh my god. Well, back to Pacific Log for you. So dumb. God, we have to do it all over again. One way street. Okay, and it turns out you have to go like as low as possible to get to the right area. He failed like 19 times in my head, low, can. girl, because otherwise you're gonna hit those rapids that you see right there and get blown oh. away. And this kind of scares me because the the whole concept of the ocean sucking you away is totally terrifying. Do the currents carry you here too? 
This must have been faded. Let's battle. No, they didn't carry me here, man. I'm on a very, very safe dishwasher. These kids are stuck here forever, essentially, then. Do not they can't get back. They don't have, they don't have any flying types. Forcing out gear like, notes. Never mind. It's a huge, huge, huge fear of mine. Just hearing about it. I've never even, like, swam in the ocean or anything like that. But just thinking about it gets me a little bit nervous. Because one moment oh, you're fudge. There, the next moment you're gone. And, oh, God, the chin is making his first appearance on screen. And wow, he's not even on screen. Right, man. All the detail. Oh, it's absolutely wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and switch you out for our good friend uh, Dishwater here so that she can have a little bit of time on screen. She hasn't had a whole lot of time recently. And there's Celio. Aw, Celio looks so like. He looks sad, like, I don't wanna be a Celio. I bet Celio would be a great I forgot what it was based on for a second. Look at that mustache, man. Not only is he a fluffy one, but he's got the stash going on too. And. What I hear, he's single, ladies. Any takers? And I think I just—it's a girl. Oh wait, no, that's a sea so that king. I'm an idiot. Celio with a uh, ground move, but you know what? I guess we're just gonna have to go with a big wave on the ocean. You know what? Surf should it do more it. damage if you're actually surfing in game or something, man. I no, you just get a wrecked. Oh, uh oh. Take a nice ball to the ice ball is like the ice version of rollout. Game, fortunately. So we can just mud shot this guy, and hopefully we should be good after this turn. And luckily, Celio yep. is a really, really slow Pokemon, so even though it's she like it's a walrus herself, she doesn't have anything a to worry about. She can just mud shot him in the face. And I wonder if this is like the sick. um, not swim, the walrus sick. on Pingu. And yeah, there and we go. Give to Franklin and Deborah. <laughs> oh my God! Ah, oh, wonderful names there. Strong, too much so. I guess English is this guy's second language or something. Another loss. Yeah, he has no, some callous originally. No, I'm kidding. That was probably grammatically correct, and I'm just dumb. But you know what? I'm gonna point it out anyway. What do we have here? A max revive? Oh my god, the bag is full. What are we ever gonna do? Uh, how sad. Sell Actually, some wait, freaking we still items. X accuracy on blue, don't we? The bag's full. <laughs> wait, it is the X accuracy, right? Oh my god, it is. Thank you so much, Blue. You're just holding on to that thing like a little champ. That's all you're good you. for right now. Uh, so what do we want to do? I guess we can get rid of... We're probably actually never going to use a dark type move or anything because I was going to put like Crunch on Glalie or something like that. But now that I've decided that I don't want Glalie, we can go ahead and uh, actually... Probably also never gonna get a shoal bell, so let's just throw away these shells. Who needs shells? Oh, good, we can send out all three at them. once. That's good. <laughs> oh god, you're god. fired, Brian. I crack me up sometimes. What we ran out of max revives in the Tate what and Lisa battle. Fake laugh. Either way, uh, I think you can just go anywhere from here or something like that. Oh boy, I think I might have gone too low. No, nope. okay, we okay, are good. Fine. They correct you. We'll always dump you in the same spot, but I believe. Um, I believe if you come from the lower possible path there, you don't have to move at all. If you come from the higher, you have to move down one square. So I hope I'm right. Yeah, it's really specific. You have to stand on like one of two tiles. And yes, okay, I they would have right. pushed you out you to this, this uh, mm -hmm. deep spot in the sea. Here we use dive, and oh, blue is taking us down. You cute little bugger. And we are once again underwater. You cute, cute, useless and, uh, little flipper. And by the way, catch that relicant that I'm going to need here in just a moment. I went just like east of Sutopolis City, and you can dive there. And there's a bunch of seaweed, and I haven't even shown seaweed off yet. But it's basically like tall grass, but underwater. And water all. I hope you dots. can read Braille. Oh my god. God, it is dots. <laughs> Let me just, uh, good thing I know Braille. Let me just rub my hand across my flat, uh, screen. I right do now. that, but oh, mine's man. a touch screen. It would it activate like heck. Here, everybody. I hope you could all read that as well. But it's kind of weird. Why did the game designers decide to put Braille in this game? It's like different, but dumb. Here we are, in the sealed chamber with very happy surfing music. Okay, maybe not quite as happy as I thought it was. And, oh, my oh, God. that was a so generic surfing Braille music. All around here. Three... Three. That's my favorite. That's actually not what that says. I have no idea what these individual tiles say, but if you read them all, it says, "When no you wish upon a star, oh your dreams they tiles, shall go if you far." Read them in order, oh, for fudge sakes, we Disney owns this cave. They do own everything. But we sealed the Pokemon away. We feared it. Everything those is up Sony. Those with hope. And Spider-Man. Open a door. An eternal Pokemon awaits. And literally nobody on the planet has any idea what that means. I don't even think the writers know what that means. People. Nope. Um speculate that it has something to do with a legendary Pokemon in the next game, Regigigas or Regigigas, or however however the gosh darn heck you pronounce it. The Regis are some of the most confusing Pokemon things to work with. And only one there, and it refers to it as an it in the speech, but anyway, if you look at this... Uh, Legendaries tend to not have genders, my dude. Move, uh, dig here, I believe, and to do all this, you're going to have to have Wailord in the front of your party and Relicanth in the back, and go ahead and use the move dig. Wow, it's only using HMs. I'm doing it wrong, apparently. 
No, I'm not. Okay, <laughs> I good. thought I was gonna return to underwater accidentally, but no. <laughs> you go back to the little there with town. Conditions set. There will be a giant hole in the wall, and everything is even more cryptic now because there's a bunch of. Now I over here's where I usually save my game when I get to the legendary. Now it. Oh great! Now it's an IGN review on Gen Eight. Sounded as if a door opened somewhere far away. Whoa, what could possibly be That was be a door opening sound effect, so yeah. Stone with Waylord in the front of your party and Relicanth in the back, and it's actually the opposite for Ruby and Sapphire, so throw that mm. Relicanth out front, throw the chin in the back if you're uh if you're playing Ruby and Sapphire, but I don't know why they switched Waylord it. in the front, Relicanth in the back, and doors will open far away. So what do you say that we go ahead and go check those doors out? Alright, and if you guys remember from earlier in the series, when we came and explored the desert here, we found that there was a strange rock formation down towards the south. This wasn't open before, but this uh, giant mound surrounded by six smaller rocks and now has a cave in it, so let's go ahead and go inside and see what there is. A giant empty room, oh my gosh, and yay, more braille! Let me just rub my hand across my very flat screen once again. I have no and idea what I game freak exactly was thinking. It's a different kind of idea, now. but it's yeah, also that one. stupid cryptic. I mean, how is anybody expected to figure this out, man? Either the way, blind kids can figure them out. After all, they just read them down, and wait. Steps down, I believe, and go ahead and use rock smash. So blue. I have no idea what they again, were thinking. And being a valuable member of the team, and that will open up this door just as it did before. And look at what we have inside. A golden Pokemon! A pile of gold! Oh, wait, false alarm. You know, it's, it's just a legendary Pokemon. I do love their I battle music, Pokemon, though. This is Regirock, the first they get their own Pokemon theme. Pokemon that we can catch in Pokemon Emerald. And, oh my god, I'm super excited about this. I love Regirock. I love all the Pokemon that we're going to be catching uh, fairly soon, actually. The Regis. I'm not going to be using any of these guys on my team. I don't really want to Or the Regi. Or the Regis. I am going to be catching Because due to one of the Regi brothers, Regi trio, there is a bit of shenanigans with the name. This thing is or how you're supposed to pronounce it. There's stone agreement on it. Why do you stun about a rock? Wait, it's rock. It's not immune. I think, like, only one or two. I'm sorry, but. Since most of the rock types are part ground, I'm used to, like. I'm used to just not using electric type attacks off of principle. Two Thunderbolts looks like it's going to put it at, like, exactly red health. So, yeah, there we go. I wouldn't have awesome. risked it just for the chance, you know? It also has a really, really uh, respectable attack stat. I was going to say really, really high, but I suppose that would be a bit of an exaggeration. It was meta for a while. It's going to use mainly, but like, not physical attacks on you because, of course, it it's meta in the lower the tiers, but in that point, is it really meta? Cannon? An ancient power, I believe. So look out for all that. Either way, we have ourselves 40 Ultra Balls. Now I remind of Paul versus <laughs> Brandon in Diamond ball, and Pearl. Please, please don't waste your Master Ball on this thing. Let's see how much. I mean, you I could, but you know. know. This thing. Can we catch the legendary Probably Pokemon shouldn't. Regirock in our first nope. Pokeball? No, he's not going to humor our ha. joke whatsoever. Well, at least he got paralyzed. But, uh, yeah, as with all legendary Pokemon, as with all Pokemon in general, I suppose what you want to do is get them down to red health and flick them with a status condition such as. So Pearl that's why you didn't get rid of Thunder Wave. Oh come on! Too effective, I think. And, um, just go from there, I guess. But, yeah, we've got ourselves 40 Ultra Balls, so we're sitting down and preparing for the long Get comfy, haul. everybody. And, man, I have the worst luck, usually, with catching legendary Pokemon. It takes me hours and hours and hours of just chucking Ultra Balls at them. And then it's, like, the one time you do get off a Pokeball, and you throw, like, a Pokeball or a Great Ball or something. Yeah, lower like, stack. a stack. Ball or something stupid just as a joke. That's what ends up working, not the Ultra Balls. So it's like, yeah. the Ultra Balls are just a scam in the game, man. They're just put in there. They're totally rigged oh. to make you waste oh. money or something. Oh, whoa, guys. Gosh. Shake. One shake on that one. Oh my god. Regirock, keep on looking at us with your seven dice eye. Oh man. You can't you can't even roll that high on a die, one. man. You are cheating ah. entirely. Down oh, yeah, A B, Brian. Two, Down two, A four. B. Actually, I wonder if a quick attack oh. would this much help. Oh that's right, curse. No wonder it did so much more damage. I'm not gonna I, risk yeah, it. I wouldn't I risk it either. I don't want to kill it, but like actually, you didn't save. A little bit faster. Maybe that's just me hallucinating things, but... Well, then he probably said in the game, the way more in the Rella How many were you so far? Like, five know. or something like that? Uh. And, uh, yeah, obviously... I, have, I use a timer ball after a while. Just chucking balls at this thing, because... And that fails, I realize how fun I am. But, um... Wait... Regirock, do you want to stay in luxury? Do you want a luxurious I think the luxury... Well, he's a rock, so probably not. For the oh, try. Okay, you could just hang up on superpower. That. That's rude of you, and it's actually really good when he starts using superpower because that lowers his stats. Um, attack 
and defense. And we don't want his defense any lower, though. Thank goodness, goodness the legendaries can't know take down because one of the worst things about Pokemon Coliseum, Shadow Rush. Now, let's go out there with our physical tank because Ashley right. is going to be able to take anything that this guy wants to throw at us. So we can start throwing stuff at him, including Ultra Balls. Hooray. Guess we didn't need the Relicant and stuff anymore. Nope. Chin. <laughs> nope. Many attempts later. One. Nope. Oh. Nope. 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 Uh-uh. No way, Jose. Uh-uh. <laughs> no Cabrera. Hey, Don't think eh. so. <laughs> oh, hi, Dishwater. Two. Oh. Three. Oh. Oh. Ah! Oh, three shakes, come on, man! And now it's going to break out immediately on the next <laughs> one, because that's always what happens. Nope. Nope. Yep. Nope. No. No, no, no. <laughs> one. It, ah! <laughs> Maybe it was two, given the you which way it was shaking. No, uh, no way, no how, never happened, and not here. Oh, we we go. Timer ball, something different for once. Can we do it? One, oh. two, three, three. Oh, yes. We got it with the timer ball. Yes. Ah. Oh. Like Thirty turns or something like that. So the timer ball, ladies and gentlemen, actually proves itself to be useful and awesome. We got. It's the always the most euphoric feeling when you just like chat like a hundred ultra balls, Pokemon but then it finally catches it. It's like. Okay. Finally! This is a Pokemon that's made entirely of rocks and boulders. If parts of its body chip off in battle, Regirock repairs itself by adding new rocks. And I think the rocks composing its body are supposedly from all over the world, which is really, really cool. And these Pokemon, mysterious as they are, are like... I, I don't know. I really like them. I really like. I the reminded the Pokemon. series of really like Geekus, really but like the design. I don't reason. know. It's just super mysterious and super ominous and stuff like that. And what the Park heck are we name this thing? Oh God, Greg! That's it. That's it. We're done. We're done. The boat. We got it. The boat. Oh yeah, best nickname ever. <laughs> Why? Get it? Don't rock the boat. Oh my God, that's the funny. That's it. Series canceled. I'm hey, done. Don't blame me. It's <laughs> no. like one thirty in the morning, and I slept like four hours last night. Okay, okay. fair point. <laughs> But she's going to have Swallow and Dishwater left, and we weren't sending out Swallow because you're not sending out a flying type against the rock type. That we can catch in the Horn region. In the next episode of Pokemon Emerald, we are going to be going after another one. So thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you guys then. I hope you enjoyed catching Regirock the Legend, and we will catch another Legendary Golem next time. For those of you who know who they are, go ahead and leave which one you want me to catch in the comments below, and I will see the most popular one gets caught next. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys then.